Chapter 1 You are listening at FameTV.info Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation, Beep 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 Beep, Fanya lay on the hospital bed, listening to the sound of the monitoring equipment, she looked up and saw that the ceiling above her head was badly damaged, she had been in this hospital for three months, half a year ago, when she was diagnosed with terminal liver cancer, she was sent to the city central's hospital for treatment, however, the high cost of treatment was simply not something Fanya could afford. She had no choice but to transfer to this small hospital that was close to the county town for a conservative form of treatment even so, Fang Yit did not have any more money to prolong her life, two nurses pushed a trolley of medical supplies and walked past Fang Yit's ward. Point one nurse glanced at Fang Yit's bed and said to her colleague, bed three will be deregulated today, sigh. How pitiful. Isn't that the same as just waiting for death? The other nurse sighed, it can't be helped. She could not pay up. The nurse did not stop her work and said helplessly, I'm just tired of seeing the same thing happening again and again in this hospital. The nurse continued speaking, and she glanced at Fangya again, I heard that she used to have a rich husband. Another nurse could not help but become curious. How did she end up so miserable in her twilight years? Sigh. That's not it. I heard that she used to be the most beautiful woman around the nurse said and could not help but feel envious, when she married that husband of hers, she originally did quite well. The nurse took out a dose of medicine and gave it to the patient in the ward next to Fanya, after that, she walked out again, her voice trailed off in the distance. It's just that when women get old, men tend to change their hearts easily. This woman is really stupid. The nurse sighed. She didn't take a single cent during the divorce and left with a child who wasn't even ten. She didn't take any money. Another nurse glanced at the bedridden Fanya, and her eyes were wide with surprise, yes. Otherwise, would she have fallen to such a state now? The nurse checked the medical records in her hands and continued a divorcee raising a child by herself, and in the end, she got sick and became unable to keep the child, after putting the medical records away, the nurse took the medicine and walked to another ward. What a tragedy! Another nurse stood at the door and asked curiously, what about the child? I heard that she spent a lot of effort to send the child out of the country a few years ago. The nurse walked out and checked the medicine in the cart. She never told the child that she was sick, the nurse could not help but feel sorry for Fanya. Seriously, as the two of them were chatting, a few doctors walked over. The two of them instantly shut up and looked at Fanya with pity in their eyes. The doctors walked into the ward together and confirmed that Fanya had given up on treatment. The doctors and nurses removed all the equipment, leaving Fanya alone in the ward. The beeping sound that had been bothering her for three months finally quieted down. Fanya slowly closed her eyes, letting the darkness envelop her. She was tired. This life was too tiring, but a part of her remained indignant. There was a loud noise beside her ears. Fanya frowned and slowly opened her eyes. A bright light shone into her eyes, and Fanya quickly squeezed her eyes shut again. The noise was incessant, and it only seemed to be getting louder and louder. Heaven is actually such a chaotic place. Fanya could not help but grumble in her heart, but then she thought, No, that's not right, that's a place that only Westerners would go to. Then, am I in hell now? Fanya tried to open her eyes again but what she saw was a familiar room from a distant memory, she was looking up at a decorated ceiling, and she was surrounded by curtains hanging around her bed, Fanya raised her hand and rubbed her eyes to confirm everything in front of her, isn't this, my old bedroom. Fanya sat up and looked around, although it was the place where she lived decades ago, everything here still felt familiar to Fanya, just when Fanya suspected that this was the process of her entire life flashing before her as she lay dying, a small head suddenly poked in from the door, Mom. You're awake. A childish voice rang out, Fangya spun her head at the voice. It was indeed her daughter, Tang Tang, Fangya blinked her eyes frantically, trying to confirm that everything in front of her was real that I and the next moment, Tang Tang jogged all the way to Fangya's arms, Mom, the butler said that you were not feeling well and didn't want me to come and disturb you, Tang Tang said aggrievedly, Fangya caressed her daughter's head lovingly, 
feeling the warmth of her body, oh God. Is this a dream? If this is a dream, please let me never wake up for the rest of my life. Fanya prayed with all her heart. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.